John, we're live. All right, let me just double check it. All right, at this time, will all sergeants please start the recordings? PC started. Five recording all set. Backup is rolling. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for the vote on the Committee on Finance. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their videos for verification purposes? And to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Drum, we're ready to begin. Thank you very much, uh, Sergeant uh, Biondo, uh, and all the sergeants, of course, for all the work that you do. Good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. I'm Council Member Daniel Drum, and I'm Chair of the Committee. Today, we are joined by Council Member Grudenchik, Kostelwitz, Powers, Rosenthal, Adams, Brooke Powers, Van Bramer, and Minority Leader Matteo, and Council Members Lewis, Carnegie, Moya, Amphrey Samuel, Dharma Diaz, and Brooks Powers. Uh, today, the committee will be voting on six items. Intro number 1859, the discount rate for the prepayment of property taxes in fiscal 2022, and four Article 11 property tax exemptions. Introduction 1859, sponsored by Minority Leader Matteo, would eliminate sunset provisions relating to the alternative veterans exemption of the property tax. This legislation will benefit the nearly 40,000 veteran homeowners in the city who already received the exemption and any others who may receive it in the future. I'll now turn it over to Minority Leader Matteo for remarks on his legislation. Thank you, Chair Drum, I appreciate it. Um, four years ago, the city council passed the alternative exemption for veterans, a bill I sponsored that expanded the prior veterans exemption to include the school portion of property taxes. The alternative exemption is available for veterans who served in a time of war, as well as disabled veterans and gold star parents. Currently about 37,000 households receive the veterans alternative exemption with an average savings of $1,112 off of their tax bills, according to the Department of Finance. This financial relief is needed now more than ever, as so many New Yorkers have suffered loss Community during this Council pandemic has the and the consequential economic downturn. However, as part of a compromise with the administration when we, when we first passed this legislation, the alternative exemption for veterans is set to sunset next June at the end of fiscal year 2022. We could have allowed the next council to handle this problem and the future of the alternative property tax exemption would have remained uncertain. But I strongly believe that we have a responsibility to our veterans to ensure that we provide this benefit to them. I think most of you would agree, after all they have done for our city and our country, they absolutely deserve this. I want to thank the speaker, my colleagues, finance staff, my staff, uh, and Jason Goldman especially for working with me to ensure we pass this important bill this year. Uh, I thank you and I urge all of my colleagues to vote yes. Uh, thank you, Councilman Matteo. Next, we have a pre-considered resolution that would establish a one half or 1% discount for the early payment of fiscal year 2022 real estate taxes. This discount rate is consistent with the Banking Commission's recommendations and has been the rate that the council adopted since fiscal 2016. Finally, we have the four property tax exemptions, 50th Street HDFC in Council Member Menchaca's district in Brooklyn would receive a full 40 year Article 11 exemption to preserve 48 units of affordable rental housing. JOE Uptown spanning Council Member Perkins, Levine's and Rodriguez's district in Manhattan would receive a full 40 year Article 11 exemption to preserve 47 units of affordable rental housing. <clears throat> Carol Burke, HDFC, and Council Member Salamanca's district in the Bronx would receive a full 40-year article exemption to preserve 219 units of affordable rental housing. <clears throat> Habitat Next Zero Homes in Council Member Miller's and Adams District in Queens would receive a full 40 year article exemption to support the construction of 16 units of affordable home ownership. The council members are supportive of these exemptions. Those are all of today's items. Are there any questions? Seeing none, I will now ask Billy Martin, committee clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk. Roll call vote committee on finance. All items are coupled. Chair Trump. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. 
Carnegie. Vote aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Thank you. Adams. I vote aye. Ampri Samuel. Aye. Ayala. Aye. I think somebody needs to mute. Will somebody please mute. Councilman. Everybody. Sorry. Okay, thank you. We'll come back to Councilmember Moya. Councilmember Powers. Vote aye. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Councilmember Moya? Yeah. I vote aye. Thank you, sir. Lewis. I vote aye. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Thank you. Brooks Powers. I vote aye. Thank you. Matteo. Aye. Thank you. One moment. Okay, by I excuse me, <laughs> by a vote of 15. In the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Council, do we have any outstanding members who have indicated that they want to continue to vote or will show up to vote? No, Chair. Okay, so then I think we're going to adjourn this meeting at 9 11 in the morning. Uh, thank you very much, and we will see you later on today. With that, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. And members that are involved with small business that will that is due to start at 930. So please stay in the Zoom room. Once again, small business at 930. If you're on that committee, please try to.